Good morning, good evening, and good night. I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to 144 from the stars, Tarot. Not meditating on the energy. We're just going to dive in together and see what spirit would like the collective to know. I just heard um, rising of like the sacred union. Something about like um, love is being changed in the collective. And give me one moment. I need to get you guys a new candle. All right. And we are back with a new illumination lit for you guys. So. I'd split the deck to removal of obstacles and I'd already kind of felt the energy of like I feel like the the whole like narrative of love in the collective is changing like previously we've had terms like karmics or soulmates or twin flames or exes or like I, I don't know like just this messy hot and cold good or bad like we're removing all that shit I feel like like there's a need for a rise of the divine expression of masculine and feminine unions. It, it's that simple. It, it's time for it. Like, this is like the twin flame rising, sacred sexual energy rising. I picked up on that energy a couple readings ago. It's coming back up again, so it must be relevant in the collective. And then we have this removal of obstacles. What's the obstacles? These freaking karmic narratives. I'm so tired of good people settling down with something they think is a twin flame, they think it's a soulmate, and it's a fucking karmic. And you know what? I think we are too. I think we as a collective demand a higher um, standard of love in our lives. I feel like the majority of the collective has experienced enough of what love isn't. We as a whole are demanding we have actual love in our lives, not fake shit. And you know what? I think collectively, and I feel like the divine, and I feel like our ascension, we got like, you know what? I agree with that. You're right. I second that notice. It's like we as a collective got fed up, and then the divine was like, I support it. Let's get the ball rolling. You got the right idea. Let's let's do this. Let's remove some of these old di old paradigms. Old dimes. That's interesting. So maybe that's another thing that's changing about love. Is before um, the majority of the younger undeveloped populace sought after looks or, you know, what felt good or looked good or image her surface, her, you know, TNA, like whatever, you know, what, what looks good, feels good, captain, what's shallow, the five senses, the flesh, the carnal. But a lot of us are ascending beyond that and we understand, like, shit dwindles a lot of things are temporary and if we're gonna really give our heart and soul to someone we want it to be real and we want it to be everlasting because fuck it my love's everlasting so if i'm gonna give my love to someone it better be everlasting too because i don't give anything less and i feel like that's what a lot of the majority of the collective is saying right now is i want what i deserve in love and damn it so does the divine so not only do we have this removal of blockages, or I said blockages, I meant to say obstacles, but same thing, right? Tomatoes, tomatoes. Then we have change in circumstances. This is a bit of a graphic illustration, so I will just inform you of what it is in case uh, it is a little too um, natural for your virgin eyes. But it is simply a man helping deliver the birth of a calf. Change in circumstance. We are birthing a new era. We are birthing a new dawn, a new um, dynasty of love. I just got it. And I know I'm using an Egyptian deck, but I got like an image of, I don't know, some kind of like royal times and like an Egyptian lineage and something about like how they had some kind of understanding of sacred... I, I'm hearing like sacred sexual fire and serpent energy. They had a deep understanding and respect for this. That's energy that's coming up live again in the collective. 
so like a collective memory is becoming active live again. All right, what else do you have for the collective? Illumination or revelation? Wow. I, and, and like, that's what's going on is celebration and merriment. Wow. So now we understand. We understand the thorns from the petals. I feel like through multiple, countless incarnations and lives of all of us individually and then adding to our collective experience as a whole, we're done with karmics. We're done with shallow love. We're done with the fake. We're done with the illusion. We're done with the superficial. If we want the rising of God's kingdom on earth, then we need the rising of the God's kingdom spouses as well as divine unions, true expressions of man and woman and husband and wife, brother and father. Like all, all of it is like the whole paradigm shift has to be shifted. Shit's fucked up. Families are messed up. Husband and wives are messed up. Brother and sister are messed up. We, we're tired of Cain and Abel's. We're tired of polygamy. We're tired of all of this bullshit. All this stuff that came in and fucked up what love was. We're removing it. We've experienced it for so long. We see it for what it is. It has been revealed to us through countless karmic lessons throughout all of the lifetimes that we have all lived. And it is time for a new era of love to come down on earth. I had mentioned in a previous reading about the divine feminine Christos rising. And I believe this is a reading on a follow-up of the effect of that. The divine feminine and masculine are rising as equal wholes to illuminate as divine unions of expressions of the perfect divinity of true holy matrimony. Wow. This is a cause of celebration. I'm feeling like this is interesting, the image I'm getting, and I'm trying to figure out how do I put this in words. All right, so I'm seeing like a banquet hall or like a wedding reception or like a, a ball, like a big dance, a big gathering. And we're all celebrating. We're all happy because we're celebrating our union. We're celebrating our union in Christ or celebrating our union in our source, in our divine counterpart, in our true self, in our higher self. And like it, it's a celebration. It's like, yay, love one. It's celebrating the miracle of love, celebrating the miracle of union, of matrimony, of holy matrimony in so many ways. Literal marriages, spiritual marriages. Celebrating that you are now the bride of Christ. However you want to take this message, love is the key here. Love is the key. We are removing the things that are not love, that we have been told are love. All right, what else? 33 as well. So something about um, mastering this. Abundance. And strength. Horus. God of kingship. Yeah. The key to our abundance, guys, is love. The key to our happiness, love. The key to healing the world, all, all of it, all of it. Anything, any problem, any elevation, any goal, love. I don't know if you've ever heard in stories where it's like, you'll hear a tarot reader saying, oh, I see you're getting ready to come into union. And it's like, as soon as you come into union, all things in life increase. Your abundance increases, your blessings increase. I don't know if you've heard stories like that. Where it's like, you're not going to be in alignment for your highest potential until you are in union with your highest counterpart. Two minds are greater than one. I mean, yeah, the half of a coin is great and all, but we'd like to have both halves of the coin to, so we can have the whole. So the key to our greatness is love, is union. Is this divine equal of masculine and feminine, where it's whole. 
There's no shadow. There's no karma. There's no fear. There's no guilt. There's no like low vibrational bullshit that people tell us is love, but it's not like possessiveness and jealousy. And no, that's not love, honey. That's just you needing to grow and heal. Don't tell me your wounds are love. It's not. It's where love needs to be. And that's not my job. And that's not yours. That's theirs. So let the karmics take it up on their own to fill the hole that they need. You are no longer in a position where it is your priority to pour your light into a fucking broken vessel. What's the point? Why waste all that good spirit, all that good golden light, if it's just going to fall through the cracks? So there's like a cleanup. There's a purge. There's a cleanse. And with this purge and cleanse comes a precision. I feel like we're going to be uplifting each other. The divine masculines and divine feminines that are in union are going to be each other's strength. You're going to be each other's abundance. You're going to be whole. This is how it was meant to be. This is how it was intended. To be in perfect, balanced, holy union under the divine. In Christ, in love, in harmony. We need more of that on earth. Woo. I love it. Destruction of enemies. And look at that. Head on a platter. That's what time it is. Off with the heads. If you don't have a good head on your shoulders, off with the head. That's, that's how we feel about it. Do or die. Do or die. You either resonate with the new standard of what love is or you get the fuck out because you don't fit the new picture. And that goes to any karmics. All right, what else? Writing or a person's legacy. Wow. It is written in the stars for this to happen. And as this happened, more of our fate, our destiny comes into alignment. Damn, it's like... You can't... For those of us that are incarnated on real, like, high vibrational... Like, part of your contract in this life is to come into a high vibrational union... With someone else. You accomplishing that contract. Is what actually brings. Everything else that you were promised. And guaranteed a life. Into alignment. It's like you were destined to be. A great ruler with riches and abundance. But you were never going to be it. Unless you had your counterpart up there. On your throne with you. You were never going to be the king until you had the queen. Or you were never going to be the empress until you had the emperor. Something about that. Something about how it needs to be balanced. The two energies need to be balanced. Because we're bringing ourselves back into our original perfected template. Something about the... Um, oh, what is it called? <sighs> I can't think of what it's called. But, um, docket, it's not a docket. It's something like a docket. It's like a script, a narrative, a, um, a coding of life, right? That each planet, each solar system, each experience is given. So like, for example, on earth, we're like, all right, on this world, it's going to be like this. And these are going to be the lessons. And this is going to be the limitations. This is going to be the illusions. This is going to be the goal. This is going to be the karma. Charter. That's the word I was looking for. Life charter on earth. Back, and I'm, this is going back to way before we even were seated on this planet. Something about a charter for our life on this earth. 
we were meant to have this divine perfection. This is going back to like the story of Adam and Eve. Or Lilith, depending on what part of the truth you actually know. But we're not going to go too far into that. But this is going back to the original founding times where we were seated as the human race on this planet. We were supposed to be in divine perfection with our counterpart. But then something meddled up with the, the program. Something interfered. Something intersected it. Muddied it up. Now all of a sudden they weren't equals. They weren't holes. Fast forward thousands of years and then look, we got patriarchal rule. Bullshit. It's time for it to end. This is going to bring us into... Um, this is like... God's kings and queens and gods and goddesses, emperors and emperors are like empresses are being called to unite because the seat at your throne, the table is being prepared and it's time for you to step into union. So that way you can step into power with union is your power. Yeah, I feel like we're at a bifurcation of timelines right now. We're at a split. It's kind of giving me rapture vibes a little bit. Kind of like what I said earlier. It was like you either meet the new requirement of frequency for what love is going to be from now on. Or you can get the fuck out. That's where this split is. Do you want to go on this timeline? Or do you want to send? We're ascending. We're demanding we ascend. We're taking the world with us. We're going to ascend and take the world hostage with us. Not really hostage. It's all mutual. We all want the same thing. But it's like we're taking our world back. We're taking our life charter back. We're going back and we're erasing the interjections into our narrative. And we're re like restoring it back into its original template, its original blueprint, its plan. But this was prophesized. I might need to do some research on some like um, culture or maybe read on the Bible a little more. Because I feel like there's something that um, connects this and I'm not seeing it because I don't have the education. But this was prophesized in some kind of culture. This was known about. And we're in those times now. Something about um, the stars would fall on earth and bring love with them. Whoa. The stars will fall on earth and bring a new love with them. I'm so glad you guys are here. Let's make a beautiful world together. Resurrection. That's what I'm talking about. Purification. We've got resurrection and purification. Hmm, so we are resurrecting our divine perfect blueprint. Divine rising, sacred sexual energy, divine masculine, divine feminines are actually in their divine aspect, not the shadow. We are purifying ourselves, purifying our land, purifying um, relationships, our consciousness, our understanding of love and relationships, our worth, our standards, our expectations, we're elevating all of them. Because once when you know the word, you know the truth, do you really want to leave it? I, I don't know why you would, unless it was to learn a lesson, so you could come back with a better understanding and appreciate it more, then I could understand it. Conflict and war, chaos, and then accomplishments, change. A lot of this war and conflict and chaos, chaos, something about like um, animals too, like in nature. 
So think about like even in nature, nature on Earth is more um, aggressive, and it's like even it like our imbalance in the Adam and Eve times threw the animal kingdom off in balance too. Like I mean I don't know I'm kind of thinking of like how a prey mantis will eat its mate's head. I don't know if that's part of the original blueprint or not, or maybe if that's just a manifestation of the imbalance in our energy. Food for thought. I don't know all the answers. I know none, actually. And I'm okay with not knowing anything. We have the star and death. Oh my gosh. I talked about stars coming on Earth and bringing a new love with them. Well, now this is like I'm getting like a um, meteor shower, like extinction of the dinosaurs, except for this time, the dinosaurs that are coming to extinct are people that don't understand what love and divinity and equality and harmony and Christ and divine actually is. Those that are not in alignment with God's kingdom on earth. You think they got hussies and skanks in God's kingdom? No. You think they got fuckboys in God's kingdom? No. They don't have karmics. They don't have cheating. What the fuck is that? That don't exist. So if we want to bring the heaven here on earth, we got to remove the shit that can't exist in the heaven we want to bring on earth. And that is what we're doing. And it's got a lot to do with sexual energy, with love, with unions, with marriage, with divine feminine, divine masculine being restored back to their perfective, unitive counterparts under God in Christ. I am going to leave this here. If you like the way that I read, please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. I greatly appreciate every single one of you, and I will see you on the next collective message.